continued reading from Basho's Moon Woke Me Up Nine Times with poem 562 from the 1689 to 1694. The first melon quarter it or cut it in slices. Question. The first melon quarter it or cut it in slices? Question. Well, he's the first melon. Is he going to quarter it or cut it in slices? I don't know. You would know. You just have to be sure. That's poem 562 and continuing. Sleeping in the same inn with some concubines. Bush, clover, and may. Remember how some of these appear in the other book? Mm -hmm. Sleeping in the same inn with some concubines. Bush, clover, and may. See here, here uh, in the other book, in the book, A Narrow Road to the Deep North, he encounters this. <laughs> Early ripening rice smell below on the right, the angry sea. Early ripening rice smell below on the right, the angry sea. Autumn cool, hand peeling cucumbers, eggplants. Autumn cool, hand peeling cucumbers, eggplants. He's peeling by hand. This implies he peels cucumbers and eggplants. No, it's just like a live succeed. That's what this could be. No, it says he's hand peeling. Whatever. Succeed, so I'm using the present tense. How sad under the old war helmet a cricket. That's cute. <laughs> How sad under the old war helmet a cricket. Didn't we encounter that too, where was he was visiting somewhere? I, this was in his. I remember he came to an old helmet and found a cricket. I, on on one of his journals. He stops at a famous shrine. It's the same cricket. Well, it appears it either is a different translator. How sad under the old war helmet, a cricket. Under the old war helmet? War, war helmet. 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 She didn't speak about that. She said you didn't remember it. No, I remember it. Under I'll go the on. Old war helmet, a cricket. That boy's a peach tree. I hope Autumn doesn't scatter his leaves. That boy's a peach tree. I hope Autumn doesn't scatter his leaves. Wouldn't the Autumn scatter his leaves? <laughs> Remember the boy who was like in the trench, the one that was um, the kid he found on the side of the road? Could be that kid. He gave food to some kid that was left. No, he gave salt. Whatever. Whatever it was. That boy's a peach tree. I hope Autumn doesn't scatter his leaves. Before you cut reeds for the roof thatch, go moon viewing. Go before you cut reeds for the roof thatch, go moon viewing. Viewing. First rain of winter, even the monkey would like a straw raincoat. Now the monkey needs a raincoat. <laughs> First he was taking his coat from the scarecrow, and now he says the, the monkey needs. First rain of winter, even the monkey would like a straw raincoat. Yeah, they do like a raincoat. So 
I would need. Winter garden, thin moon, thin song of insects. Winter garden, thin moon, thin song of insects. Thin song. A moon with not many. Uh, cherries are in bloom. Here comes a guy selling yam seeds. Cherries are in bloom. Here comes a guy selling yam seeds. You are the butterfly. I am Swansea dreaming you up. You are the butterfly. I am Swansea dreaming, dreaming you up. Remember he studied at some point Chinese classics back in early years of Zen. And he studied Zen and then he was, he, so he knows Swansea. In the dream, remember Swansea's dreams, he's a butterfly or he's either a butterfly dreaming he's a man or a man dreaming he's a butterfly. <laughs> Swansea's the Taoist guy from China. So, but now he says that he is Swansea, and you are the butterfly. You are the butterfly. I am Swan Tzu, C-H-U-A-N-G-T-Z-U, Swansea, dreaming you up. So, Whatever person he meets is just another butterfly. <laughs> the nun lives alone. Straw thatched cold heart, white azalea. The nun lives alone. Straw thatched cold heart, white azalea. Summer grass, I go through first checking for snakes. That's a good idea. Summer grass, I go through first checking for snakes. I suppose you should check for snakes. <laughs> I don't know. One should check for snakes, I guess. Yeah. Firefly viewing the boatman, tipsy, rocks the boat. Firefly viewing the boatman, tipsy, rocks the boat. Why are Oh, the boatman's rocking the boat? Oh, the boatman, he could have been on a boat, too, and the boatman's tipping the boat. I don't know. Even in Kyoto, longing for Kyoto. This is the famous one. Oh, even in Kyoto, longing for Kyoto. Remember, I said, yeah. even while I was with you, I was longing to be with you. <laughs> I, I did forget that part. That's why I read it. But no. <laughs> That's the famous. But I forgot the name of the... I forgot the name of the place. No, I, we... That's amazing that we... Uh, yeah, I thought we knew that was Basho, and that's one of them I know. But listen, it's interesting how the last word, what do you think the last phrase of the thing poem is? Even in Kyoto, longing for Kyoto. To, 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 gishi. Now we have to look up this word, ho, to, to, gishi. H O T O T O G I S U. Six, six fifty, poem six fifty eight. From section two, sixteen eighty nine to sixteen ninety four, page seventeen of forty, online book. <laughs> I'm reading from the library. The moon. Woke me up nine times. The moon woke him up. How come the moon's waking him up? He bright, like he's okay. He's just going to see the moon again. 
All right, e one more time. E even in Kyoto, longing for Kyoto. Hoto to gisu. I remember that was like in the other poem with the bar. Mm -hmm. 658. Basho kaiku poetry. I think I here's in may it be in my poetry book quoted. <laughs> Anyways, dragonfly can't decide which blade of grass to land on. Dragonfly can't decide which blade of grass to land on. Butterfly sampling the vinegar on the chrysanthemum salad. The butterfly sampling the vinegar on the chrysanthemum salad. Do they have chrysanthemum salads? Do they eat chrysanthemums? Or do they eat chrysanthemums with vinegar? Lightning doesn't leave you enlightened. Good to know that. Lightning doesn't leave you enlightened. Good to know that. But it does. They speak it all the time. Good to know that. It doesn't leave you enlightened. He is, yeah. He's enlightened. <laughs> the lightning or you. <laughs> doesn't leave you Huh. A line of egrets making a bridge between two snowy peaks. Egrets are birds, I guess. A line of egrets making a bridge between two snowy peaks. They're making a bridge. Mm. Lazy and dozing, startled awake by spring rain. Lazy and dozing, startled awake by spring rain. Bird song and moonlight leak through the bamboo grove. Bird song and moonlight leak through the bamboo grove. It's leaking. Yellow flowers are at Uji, smell of roasting tea. Yellow flowers here at Uji, smell of roasting tea. I was sad and now you make me lonely, mountain cuckoo. I was sad and now you make me lonely, mountain cuckoo. It's funny that he's sad and then the sound of it must be a mountain cuckoo is making him lonely. Hmm. Summer night, wooden clogs clacking behind me. S tree spirit following, question mark. Summer night, wooden clogs clacking behind me. Tree spirit following. Could be, yeah. These begonias are the color of a watermelon. He's amazed by this exclamation. These begonias are the color of a watermelon. Ending with poem 731, page 22 of 40, section 2, 1689, 16 to 94. The moon woke me up nine times. The haiku poetry by Basho. Matsuyo Basho. Mitsui Basho. Haiku Japanese poet. End of section 2.